Hi, I'm Pascal Villeneuve, Victor Author 2, Papa Victor. And today's review is about the Yezu FT70DR, which is a dual band radio supporting C4FM, which is the Yezu digital mode, and analog FM. But what I like the most about this radio is actually the price. Currently, you can get it for $209 Canadian at RadioWorld.ca. That is very, very cheap for a dual band Yezu radio. It's actually in the price range of any good DMR dual band radio. You can get it for $209 with the instant rebate until the 31st of December 2018. So if you've been waiting for something to buy yourself for Christmas, well, maybe the FT70DR is the right choice for you. That being said, let's go quickly to the spec of that radio. It has a 5 watt output on VHF and UHF. I like the speaker, which is 700 milliwatts output audio. It sounds very good. I like the fact that you feel the quality, very good radio. It does receive from 108 to 580 megahertz, and that is a wideband receiver, and it supports AM 4D air band. This radio is only one VFO at a time. It doesn't have a GPS and it does not support APRS, but hey, for that price, what can we ask more? It's still a dual band digital radio from Yezu. And for me, it doesn't matter much because I use the FT70DR in mainly in my shack with my hotspot and my wire X nod. Plus, the GPS signal don't even get down here in my basement where my shack is, so I don't have any GPS signal anyway, so it doesn't matter for me. Let's go quickly into the unboxing of that radio to see what's in the box, and we'll come back after that. This is optional. It is actually the desktop charger that you need to buy separately. In the box, you get the manual, the warranty card. You have the power pack. You have the radio. You have the battery pack, 1800 milliamps. You got the bell clip. You got the dual band antenna and you have the programming cable. The programming software from Yezu for that radio is free to download and you can get it from Yezu website. When it's time to program that radio, it has a different procedure of what we used to with Yezu radio. So I will show you how to read and write the file from that radio. To program the radio, you will need to remove the battery, just like this. And then you open on the side and you need to plug in the external power. You turn on the radio and remove the power. Then you plug the programming cable that is already connected on my side to the computer. You push AMS button, you leave your finger on it and then you plug the power. It's print ADMS on the screen, it is now possible to configure the radio. So you select the right COM port, just like that, and then you can read, but you follow all the instruction there. That's exactly what I did. And then you push BAN, so it will transmit to the computer. So let's fast forward. It takes a little bit longer than that, but uh, and now you have read the radio's information, or config, to write to the radio, okay, it's about the same procedure, but you press the mode button and it will receive and then you will be downloading the config into the radio, just like that. When you're done, you can remove the power, the programming cable, reinsert the battery into the radio. Don't forget to lock the battery, just like that. And now if you go in memory, okay, let's close this, go in memory, and you see that it has been programmed. And you 
don't actually need to read the manual to operate that radio. You can have fun just playing with it. You'll figure it out. The only time I went into the manual is when I wanted to set up my YRX nod. So as you can see, I'm able to connect to my YRX nod. I'm able to recall my favorite room into the YRX network using up to five memory into the radio. And that was pretty simple to set up. There's actually a quick guide when you get with the radio, you can uh, program it. So this is a very good. Now that the radio is programmed, we are going to do a test in analog and a test in C4FM. VR2 PVLSA V12 operator testing. VR2 PVLSA V12 2 power vector testing. VR2 PVLSA Victor Alpha 2 power vector testing. We are the PVLSF, Victor Alpha 2, Papa Victor testing. For the volume, it's a little bit tough to change the volume using the button on the side, but it works. For the rest, to access the menu, you just hold the F button and you can access the menu. Something different from other C4FM radio, you need to activate the voice wide if you want to use that mode. Otherwise, it's off by default. It's easy to switch between memory and VFO. Just like this. You can switch mode just by pushing the mode button. And you can switch the repeater offset very easily. This concludes this video. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe and don't forget to click on that notification bell to be notified as soon as a new video is online. Thanks for watching. I'll say 73 for now and catch you some other time.